Crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet. And explore the secret world below. With me, Nick on the Rock. Smith Rock in Central Oregon, what a spot! Rock climbers come from all over to enjoy these challenging walls that tower above the Crooked River. But this gorgeous pink rock, what happened here long ago to create such unique looking features? Geology is full of stories from long ago and the story here is about as dramatic as we get with Mother Nature. Smith Rock is volcanic, it's rhyolite tough, from a series of absolutely mind-blowing explosions that were thousands of times larger than Mount St. Helens in 1980. Smith Rock is just a portion of a supervolcano that exploded here 29 million years ago, the Crooked River Caldera. A crater 25 miles wide outlines where the eruption did its thing. One of the things I think is so exciting about the Crooked River Caldera is it stretches from here at Smith Rock all the way to the Ochico Reservoir, Grizzly to Powell Butte. It's a big feature. During these eruptions, collapse of the magma chamber roof leaves a caldera and surging away from the caldera are pyroclastic flows. White hot, ground-hugging clouds of gas, rock, and ash. The flows eventually lose their heat and momentum, and they petrify. They become ash flow tough, the pink rhyolite of Smith Rock. If you get right on these walls, in the caldera, in the state park, it's a light tan, that's the rhyolite, tough. But there's these individual angular blocks of rock. Some of them are limestones that are 500 million years old, hundreds of millions of years older than the volcanic activity here. So the innocent limestone beds were involved in this incredible explosion, collapse, deposits, and these angular blocks are recording that drama from long ago. The ash cloud during this explosion must have been amazing. But why are there ash flow tufts within the caldera rim? I think that's because the, the bottom is dropping out of it so fast that basically it's like a vacuum that sucks all that material back in. So how did a supervolcano end up in north central Oregon? The formation of Smith Rock and its origin has been a debate for some time. Uh, more recent work suggests that it has more uh, relationship to uh, Yellowstone type eruptions and maybe some of the earliest eruptions related to the modern track of Yellowstone and the Snake River Plain. Oregon geologists Jason McClowry and Kerry Gordon have helped find newly discovered calderas all across Oregon. With their dates and locations, the calderas show that the Yellowstone hotspot has a much longer history in the Pacific Northwest than was recognized before. Smith Rock, a popular state park within an hour of Bend, Oregon, and a serene spot to enjoy by the whole family. But the geology behind the scenery tells us 29 million years ago this place was the opposite of serene. The pink rock walls contain the evidence. It's up to us to learn the stories that the rock has to tell.